today i'm going to take the questions that i got in my uh, youtube videos comments hi guys welcome back to my channel and a very warm welcome back to my returning subscribers i hope you all are doing well and you know my channel is mostly about cyber security ethical hacking penetration testing and about technical stuffs i know last uh, month i was not active because recently i got shifted to uk so today i am going to take the questions that i got in my uh, youtube videos comments and i will reply you back and i will expect like you guys will be continuing on asking me questions on the comments so that i can take it up and can help you by answering all those questions the first question to answer that is ganesh asked me thank you ganesh for questioning this so basically any laptop which is having more than 8 gb ram will be sufficient for you i will share my laptop which i am using why i am asking to go with more ram you can go more than 8 gb as well because when you will be creating uh, like kali virtual machine then you have to dedicate your ram in that way so that your other processes will not be getting hampered if you use kali as a second vm and if you use uh, your host machine in the windows so you can have two vms running separately and also if there is a requirement sometimes it comes up like uh, when you have to do mobile pen testing and all those stuff then you have to create an another vm so it's better to go with more ram so that you can segregate the ram on splits whatever the necessity you have the second question that jayanarayan asked me so thanks jayanarayan for asking this question to me and uh, the question is hey brother i am an advocate and i have passed out from reputed law college from pune but i want to work in cyber security and cyber space can you suggest and give me some best idea regarding it yeah definitely janan so many congratulations to you uh, for working on a different domain and you are trying to come in cyber security domain the first thing you can go through my playlist where i have already mentioned like basics of ethical hacking you can here you can see the screenshot and you can start from there but the basic thing what i will ask you to uh, first start uh, like first go through any um, hackathons or anything like first try to understand the coding the best thing is to like start with c c++ then java python but java is mostly about a bit of server side coding so that i will not encourage to go with java first so c c++ python will be good and even bash scripting so first understand how coding works and how computer understands our logic and suppose when we are doing any app development so all these functionalities that we see in the mobile right so all those being written in codes so you have to understand the code in order to hack it so try to start with that it's not necessary like you have to be a pro in coding but you should be having a proper understanding how coding works and what are the functionalities that we can write in the coding so that's my basic uh, like a uh, guide for you so once you are done with coding definitely come back to me and ask your next question i will guide you the second uh, the third question basically uh, it's coming from nitya hi i am working in banking industry for past 6 years can you suggest me how to become cyber security analyst i was so confused that many of us asking me um, to do course or complete certificate to enter into this field can you say the proper way how to move on as you are all are coming from different backgrounds so first try to understand the coding because coding will definitely help you to build your foundation so once you know coding once you know a bit of algorithm how things works right so once you understand all those stuff definitely you can deep dive on the ethical hacking perspective like what are the tools that we use and how to think from an ethical hacker perspective and all those stuff so no i will definitely uh, disagree like you have to go for any certification or any paid courses there are ample of uh, like courses free on youtube and i will try to cover those topics as well in my videos i will definitely share some uh, coding courses which are free of cost and you can also uh, search them on youtube i will do that for you and i will give it on the description go through that and definitely it will make sense for you next uh, question is from dipesh yadav sir i pass out 12th this year i want to learn cyber security which course i do sir please reply sir thanks a lot uh, dipesh for asking the same question so many congratulations for passing the 12th examination the first two guys they were from the different background and they are coming to cyber security but as you are starting your career in after 12 like uh, btech bsc uh, like bcom whatever background uh, you want to choose you can go ahead with that but if you want to develop yourself on cyber security i will encourage like go in the computer science background or engineering background 
if you have that financial stability you can definitely jump on the engineering background in bsc taking computer as your major subject and that will also help you to grow your career in cyber security so initially you have many ample opportunities for you so don't restrict yourself like you have to learn this because money and all those stuff you will be getting easily on this it's not like that every thing is good the next question is from yash bro i have a lot of questions please can you answer yes definitely i can answer that's the reason i am doing this kind of sessions so once you have any particular question do comment it out i will take it up in the next video so today's final question that came from sora vomik i want to switch to cyber security domain i have more than 12 years experience in another domain is it possible to switch domain yes definitely sort of so this is a very good question and i like this much because after 12 years of experience in another domain you are trying to make yourself dynamic to adapt in cyber security domain that is very much really appreciated so if you definitely want to grow in cyber security then uh, go through the initial courses of cee that is certified ethical hacker because it will help you to get an understanding like what are the tools that we use how the infrastructure networking all these things works and in cyber security what are the major areas that we focus on like in networking which are the areas that we mostly start with you should be having the proper idea about subnet network net masking the osi models the next thing is like on web how what are the differences between http https i am not giving the questions here this is not a question answer session so whatever i am trying to focus on like the basics the basics is very much important in cyber security so you can start with that and definitely you will find your own way once you have already started your journey in cyber security so uh, i'm considering that you are you have a bit knowledge about the coding and all those stuff so then you don't have to start with the coding understanding things if you are already familiar with the coding infrastructure and the coding syntax and all those stuff and the concepts basically then you can definitely start in the ceh and for all of you who are looking to start your journey in cyber security and you are coming from different backgrounds or coming after college so i will not recommend like definitely you should start with the paid courses and all those stuff invest your money in the courses as of now no you don't have to do that there are ample of courses available in youtube many resources are there many good youtubers are as well there so go through their videos first understand all those stuff and just to brief if you want to start your journey in web then understand the bob suit bob suit is a very good tool they have an academy their bob suit academy then start doing all those stuff on their uh, like uh, website as well and for networking go through couple of tools like nmap zenmap uh, then uh, proxy tools are also there so this will help you to make an understanding like how things actually works here so don't invest your money as of now when you are starting your journey i'm repeatedly mentioning this because i have seen people who took uh, like see in my video in oscp i cleared oscp so that's the reason people are thinking like okay he cleared so definitely i should also start my journey from oscp so no it's not like that because you should not invest around 1 lakh or 50000 rupees in the initial days of your journey once you are confident okay i am quite comfortable about how cyber security works how the things are working in ethical hacking so now i am pretty confident then definitely go and start with the basics of uh, certifications and just to inform you i am already mentoring a playlist as you can see from the screenshot so you can go through that playlist because it will help you to make an initial understanding like uh, what are the things that you should be knowing and uh, where to start and where to change your uh, journey so all those stuff will be there on the playlist so go through that and and like this i will try to create more videos on answering your questions from next time so definitely try to draft your question on the comments and i will take it up in my next video thank you and have a good day see you in my next video